and today I'm going to be sharing with you a video on how I'm packing up my Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. This video is a collaboration that is hosted by Marie Elaine at Crazy Busy Fit Mom. I will leave a link to her channel in the description box below as well as a link to the playlist of the videos that all the other ladies are doing. Operation Christmas Child is run by the Samaritan's Purse. If you want more information, just go to SamaritansPurse.org. So every year people pack shoe boxes with toys, school supplies, and basic hygiene necessities. And then these boxes are sent to the children who really, really need them. Our local Chick-fil-A was giving away these boxes for people to fill, but you can use any shoe box. It doesn't have to be this specific one. So when you go to their site, I'm just going to open this up so you can see what came with the box. Check the churches in your area. Some of them might have these boxes to give out as well. So what comes with the box is this pamphlet about how to pack the shoe box and you know what kind of things are needed. Plus they ask for a $7 donation per box just to help with the shipping costs. You also have these labels to put on the front of the box saying if it's for a boy or a girl and, and the age group it's for. This is the first year I've done this, so I'm really excited to try it out. I am doing one for a boy age two to four and two for girls ages five to nine. I was going to do one of each, but a lot of the things I bought came in packs of three, so I decided just to do one more box. I'm gonna start with the girl box, and I'm only gonna show you one because they're identical. I've been doing a lot of research on the kinds of things these children need. And one of the things that pops up on every site is a water bottle. They have a place to get water usually, but no way to bring it back. So I got a water bottle with a lid. By the way, I got this at the Dollar Tree. Most of the stuff here came from the Dollar Tree. So next I found what they asked for is a wow toy, a cuddly toy of some sort or a ball or something like that. So I found this Webkins at the Dollar Tree. It's really cute. It's really soft and squishy and it's well made. Then I also saw this and couldn't resist this cute little felt doll. It's so sweet and snuggly, so I decided to include it as well. Keeping with the toys, I also got a ball because every kid needs a ball. And some bracelets because little girls like bracelets. And I found this little fairy doll that I thought would be cute as well. Another thing that's very important for them um, is school supplies. So I found this little notebook. It's a 100 page notebook, some color pencils, some crayons, a pencil sharpener, and pens and pencils. I also got a coloring book. And a cute little pair of socks. One of the other things on the list that's very important are hygiene products. I got toothpaste, a toothbrush, a comb, soap, a bar of soap, and they ask that you put it in a baggie for them, a little washcloth, some tissues, band-aids, and I also got some ponytail holders. And for fun, some candy. The only candy they will accept is individually wrapped hard candies. No chocolate because we don't know where these are going. It could be really hot and, you know, chocolate would melt. So that isn't practical. And lastly, I can't really remember where I saw this. It was on a video. Um, it was on a YouTube video. And if I can find it, I'll link it below. But they suggested a shower curtain liner. I also got this at the Dollar Tree. The kids can use this as ground cover, so they can either put it under whatever they're sleeping on, or they can put it down and have their meals, or just play on this rather than directly on the dirt. So I got one of these as well. And now we play Tetris and try to get all of this stuff to fit in that box. I'm going to start with the coloring book, and I may need to rearrange this, so this is just a first run here. And the notebook ground cover, a 
colored pencils, the crayons. And to save space, I'm going to shove as much as I can into this water bottle. So we have the toothbrush, the toothpaste, Band-Aids. Ooh, pencil sharpener. Comb. And I'll put the socks right on top. And there we go. kind of fits. It came with this rubber band, so let's see if it'll stay with the rubber band on it. I'm calling that a win. <laughs> so I might be able to rearrange it slightly and make it fit a little better, but everything in there is pretty squishable, so I think once they're stacked on each other, it'll be okay. And now for the little boy box. We have a coloring book, same ground cover, a notebook, and I know the boy's little, but a four-year-old could still be going to school and need something to write on. Some little coloring cards. I got these at the Dollar Tree, and it came with the crayons. But to save space, I took them out of the box. So we have this, then we have the color pencils, the crayons, The water bottle, which I'm going to do the same thing, put the pens in. Toothbrush, toothpaste. I got a couple of little Hot Wheels. I'm going to put those in there. Hot Wheels, so cute. Band aids. The little packet of crayons. Home, if it'll fit, yes. And I'm gonna put his little washcloth in there, which I probably should have done with the girls too. And put that in. I got him some socks. This little ball. This came in a three pack at the Dollar Tree. Then I found this ball that's really cute. This also at the Dollar Tree. He can Velcro this around his wrist and play with this baseball. A Nemo webkit, a bar of soap, tissues, a cat helper. <laughs> this is a crayon and pencil sharpener, and some candy. So that's everything that's going in the boys' box, and the top will fit on that one a little better. So once you've filled them, you just stick the label on and mark whether it's for a boy or a girl and the age group. The other option is to go online and do this and it will print out a barcode with the label and you will be able to track what country the box is going to. And I think that's pretty cool and that's the way I'm going to do it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 5 I will leave the links to all of those in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.